It is a spell of sorts. That is what Agatha used to say, anyway. What sort? The dark sort? A discernment spell. Well, more of a tracking ritual, like a seance. And no, it's not dark. I got it right from the source. I'll put it back before caretaker even knows it's missing. Hey man, we gotta try something. I mean, it has to be a sign, right? That all four of us had the same dream of Wanda? Make that five. You win. Ouija away, or whatever. Lock the door. Remember, once we start, we don't stop. Keep your mind focused on Wanda. Ego, spiritus, add. Got it. What did I just say? Do not break the connection. Okay, uh, sorry. Right. <sighs> this is how Atlantis sank. Ego, spiritus, ad me. 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 Anyone else see that? She said not to break the connection. Well, you just did. Ego spiritus ad me. Ego spiritus ad me. Ego spiritus ad me. Was that our fault? I think so. Disconnect! Pull the plug or something! It's too late. negative zone in their showers when we get home. If we get home. There's no telling where that screwed up spell sent us. This could be a broom closet in the basement of Doctor Doom's castle for all we know. Or a storage nook on Galactus' world ship. Holding pen on a scroll cruiser. Oh, maybe the inside of Robbie's brain. There. Something powerful. Something strong. Something foul. That's where we begin. Of course you were gonna say that. Super Lake. Not ring the bell. I can tear through the fabric of space and time itself. Eh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Let the fool prattle on. We must be on to something. I cannot fathom how you found this facility, but I will soon enough. Your names may escape me, but you most assuredly will not. <laughs> We will see about that. This facility appears in no records, on no maps, not even in the minds of these loyal soldiers. But the question remains, how are you here? Just a little of the old abracadabra. No big deal for a squad of ultra-powerful... 
and well known. I feel more like myself every day. Being a fascist wasn't good enough, huh? You had to get into demon worship too? Your time has come. No mercy for the servants. Both know you're not good enough for me. Of all the possible intruders, this is the last group I would expect. I suppose there was a high probability that the hunter would be drawn to this location. But you two? What were your names again? Nancy and Margaret? Okay, now he's just messing with us. You have earned this! Hail that! something. Remember me now, Brucie? I'm starting to, little punk. Which actually explains a great deal about how this visit came about. Far too amateurish an operation for Carol, or even Tony. It's not the how I should be focusing on, but the why. You're not here for the Gamma Accelerator at all, are you? The truth is far more delightful. Of course it is. Well, by all means, then, have at it. What is that? At this point, it wouldn't surprise me if Thanos himself walked out of that thing. Too late. She belongs to Lilith now. Death is her only chance for release. What? Hell no! No, that's not how we work. Haven't you learned anything yet? Leave her alone, you monster! Oh, I assure you, Miss Maximoff is free to do as she pleases. She appears neither free nor pleased to me. Really? Wanda, 
Mother guides my hand now. It's all starting to make sense. Tony must have known that I would need her energies to help stabilize the reaction. Perhaps he thought her connection to the two of you would somehow prevent the inevitable slaughter about to occur. Or perhaps you're simply his canaries in the coal mine. In either case, I may have underestimated him. Uh, you sure you're all right there, Brucey? Sounding a little unhinged. He is starting to rant like Faustus. More dangerous than ever. Shall be of great help. You ask I guess the gloves are off. Show them who runs things. They will not forget that. You shouldn't have come here. Looks like we're not done yet. You see... Your story and your The looks on your faces. Genuine astonishment. Just like before with Tony and Steve at the tower. I wonder, have we heroes always been so trusting, so gullible? There is no we anymore, traitor. You forfeited the and you became another of my mother's puppets. Yet here you all are, trying to save one. I suppose I should add illogical to the list. be good for their morale. letting Banner get to us. Remember why we're here. We don't want to hurt you. You cannot hurt me. The Mother will never let anyone hurt me. 
ever again. More of Lilith's lies. I have heard such words repeated far too many times. Move is one. Mother's vision cannot be denied. Nothing of Wanda. Such peace. Such a harmony of energies flowing through one form. She really is something, isn't she? I always believed the Scarlet Witch was powerful, but through Lilith, Wanda Maximoff has become transcendent. Shut up, both of you. Boss of nothing. Well, this encounter has certainly smashed my expectations. <laughs> Come now, Bruce. Can't let yourself get too carried away. We were planning on taking them alive. Then again, Wanda. Eliminate them. This is over. We must leave! No! Wanda, stop! It's me! It is not her, Nico! She cannot hear you anymore! Almost destroy all three of us, then yes. She hesitated and then blew up the ground where you were standing. Still, one is in there somewhere. I know it. No, she is here. Impossible. Close it now. What do you think I am trying to do? No more. You were 
saying? Wanda. You. Your fault. You will be no more. Enough! Not Agatha. Don't say a word, Nico. What would be the point? Ileana, are you okay? My best friend just tried to murder me. What do you think? We knew trying to save Wanda was going to be a risk. I know. But is it really worth risking the life of everyone here to do it? I think so. Do you not? I just want to close my eyes and when I reopen them, have this all be some bad dream. We both should get some sleep. It's the only thing left to do tonight. Good night, Magic. Good? There is nothing good about this night, Hunter. Nothing good at all. Nico, I... Don't bother. Kinda just want to be left alone. We have a lot to think about. How we got here... How we failed. Yeah, you think? We can talk tomorrow, when you are feeling better. Yeah, right. Might be a while. I will be here. But Wanda won't. Hunter, if you're looking for caretaker, she went to her room. Yeah, and she uh, made it very clear she doesn't want to be disturbed. She's uh, pretty upset. We really screwed up, didn't we? I knew we shouldn't have gone messing with that mirror. I'm worried about Nico and Magic. I think they're in shock or something. We're all in shock. It's gonna take some time for us to pull it back together. If we manage to pull ourselves together at all. I'm gonna pretend that was an accident. Caretaker? It is Hunter. Leave me be. I'm not exactly in the mood for visitors right now. It seems there's a competition going on to see who can reprimand the young sons the harshest. Are you participating? I'm really glad everyone made it back safe and sound, which is impressive on its own. Trying an incantation like that at their level. One might think they would ask for a Sorcerer Supreme's guiding hand. What do you expect of them? Every time they have tried to help, they have been rejected. You're right, Hunter. Perhaps the Suns needed this act of valiant sorcery to show us that they are more capable than we thought. It's just that Wanda was my apprentice. I care about her well-being as much as anyone here. I've been hearing her voice, but each time it grows fainter. By the great Agamotto, we'll bring her back to us. And here I thought we were finally starting to trust each other. They went behind our backs. Nearly cost us everything. They were trying to save their friend. Like any of us would do. Please, I would never do anything that reckless. Do you even hear the words coming out of your mouth anymore? I would never do anything that reckless, given the stakes. Really? Okay, fine. I would never do anything that reckless today. I give that a solid maybe. Me? Who? You look like hell, dear. I suppose you must feel like it too after these very rough few days. Better days have befallen this abbey. Well, at least you remember them. I am sorry you were unable to save Wanda, but at least you tried. 
I can't help but feel responsible for how things played out. Perhaps I pushed you too hard to save her too soon, before you, Nico, and Magic were ready. What happened was not your responsibility. We chose to betray Sarah's trust and put the lives of everyone here in jeopardy. You did not make us. Yes. But if it wasn't for me emboldening you, we may have avoided this whole mess. I cannot get Wanda out of my head now. Seeing her like that... I know I did not know her before she fell, but she was in so much pain. It permeated from her. I could feel it tear right through me. I just wish I could have freed her from it. I know, dear. Me too. Maybe you'll get a chance to again. In the meantime, don't beat yourself up about it too much. And remember how much Sarah and I love you. Oh, hey. Nico, what are you doing in Wanda's room? What does it look like? Ileana said this grimoire is filled with pretty powerful magic. There's gotta be something in here. Something to break the stupid spell your mother cast over Wanda so, you know, we can all go back to being normal. To being friends again. If you intend on breaking Lilith's hold on Wanda, you are going to need to use magic as dark as hers. Are you up to that? <laughs> Have you seen me use the Staff of One? Yeah, not exactly the stuff of fairy tales. Unless you're talking about the creepy old original versions. You know, the ones that sound an awful lot like your childhood. Just because I don't go around broadcasting my dark side like some people do, doesn't mean I can't handle my fair share of dark magic. I know what I'm doing. I never said you did not. It all made sense in my head. We'd find Wanda, smack around a few Hydra dirt bags, bring her back to the Abbey, and Caretaker would bake her a cake. I wasn't exactly envisioning Wanda trying to murder us. Or you trying to do the same thing to her. Perhaps next time we should formulate an actual plan. One that does not involve Blade or Robbie. <laughs> Tell me about it. Wait, did you just say next time? I do not give up easily. Neither do I. How about this? I'll keep digging through these pages if you promise not to release our friend anytime soon. Deal. Good, because I'm gonna hold you to that. Well, unless you have anything to add to this free Wanda brainstorming sesh, I should get back to her grimoire. I'm not leaving one page unturned until I find a way of bringing her back to her senses. Till then, later. Don't you think with all my knowledge, all my expertise, I could have helped save Wanda? No. Why? Because we do not trust you, Strange. Your problem, Magic, is that you don't trust anyone. Why should I? Where were you when Wanda was taken? What have you or any of the other Avengers done to rescue her? I thought we resolved this already. There was nothing any of us could do. No, you resolved it out of your mind. We acted. And had you elicited my help, you might have succeeded. Please. You Avengers would only have gotten in our way. I suppose we'll never know now, will we? And people say Tony's ego's big. Ugh, enough of this. I have to attend to some issues in limbo. Someone has to make sure we have safe passage through space-time. Now who is running from a fight, Ileana? I try not to be someone who equates youth with folly. I wish Ileana would not look at someone with a lifetime of experience and assume incompetence. Perhaps there was more I could have done to save Wanda, but until I get back into my sanctum, I cannot see everything I once did. Greatness can never expire. And neither can you.
I know, I know. I am one of the greats, aren't I? You know you are. But with being great comes the pressure to stay great. To have others look at you with the recognition of that greatness. You can harness that pressure. Perhaps even achieve something greater than ever before. Hmm. I like the way you think, Hunter. You've definitely given me a goal to strive for. Then my job here is done. Till next time, friend. You know where to find me. Back from your little field trip. I'm surprised Caretaker hasn't ripped you a new one yet. Going behind her back with the backup singers of your pop-punk band was really risky. Magic and Nico needed my assistance. I could not say no. Hey, I love hijinks. You gotta have real big cojones to go after Wanda like that. I'm talking huge. I will not ask what that means, but thank you? Really? You don't know what... Never mind. Lessons come later. Between you and me, I would have done the same thing. Not because I love causing a scene, but in our line of work, we need to bend the rules. Play fast and loose. Some rules can be flexible. Gonna be honest, didn't think we'd both be on the same page there. How come? I am capable of choosing what rules to break or submit to. Because you're the fancy schmancy legend. I thought rules and order were your bread and butter. Then I am glad to have changed your perception of me. Now you're the fancy schmancy rule breaker. If you ever want to break more rules with your little posse, count me in. Area are causing trouble. Let's take them down. Huh. Is that all? You don't have a lot of time. Take down anyone standing in your way of that truck. Target the truck and take it out. It shouldn't be that hard for a bunch of superheroes. Should get the blood pumping. Watch closely. That's a neat trick. I'm 
they start moving. Time's over. it off while you still have a chance. It sounds to me like they just missed their mama. Truck isn't going anywhere, but you'll have to deal with Hydra before you can head home. in their operations. Nicely done. What are you up so late reading? The twisted brain drippings of that psycho Faustus? This journal is like a love letter to Aleister Crowley, the Necronomicon, Jack the Ripper, and Charles Manson. All remixed into some nightmarish open mic poetry. I'm going to be up all night trying to make sense of it. See if it helps us find our way back into the sanctum. You are exhausted, Carol. Get some rest. You can crack Faustus's code tomorrow. It's not that I don't appreciate the sentiment, Hunter, but I'll tap out when I'm ready. Besides, if I went to sleep right now, this nightmare juice would be sure to terrorize me with bad dreams. And when I say bad dreams, I don't mean Lovecraftian demons or Cenobites. I mean being stuck at a 12-hour poetry slam in the East Village. You know. Real horror. Listen to this crap. Lilith, 
Your name is a black hole for men like me to lose their souls. How I await to be suffocated in your arms, choke on the dark tendrils of your hair. Murder me, goddess, and I will help you murder this dimension. These are just the ramblings of a madman. No rhyme or reason to be found. There must be something helpful here. Well, I ought to get back to burning the midnight oil. I got about 400 pages to go of this crap. I'll let you know what I find out. Anything new in the war room? Nope. We're at nominal levels of war. Hey, did Blade talk to you about tonight? No. What is tonight? Ah, spoiler. He wants to tell you himself. Don't let me keep you. Hmm. You look deep in thought. It is concerning. Hey, answer this for me. What does commitment mean to you? Not marriage, although if you're asking, I do. It is a promise to a person or position. Oh, what a cute cookie-cutter answer. It is true. I respect and honor my commitments until the end. Jeez, make it sound so easy. This might come as a surprise to you, but I don't really mind commitment. Stability can be good. But? But, and it's a big but, it's scary. I can handle just about anything, but when things get too good or too comfy... You start to feel as though it will all go away. We have a winner! Claim your prize after the show. Spoiler alert, it's me. It is a valid fear, but you must not let it control you. <sighs> Easier said than done, Hunter. Maybe someday. I know it's all in my head, but habits are hard to break. Getting it out in the open is a good way to start tackling the issue. And we both know I've got a lot of those. Call me! A few of us are meeting up tonight. It's a book club. You're probably busy, but if not, the other said I should invite you. A book club? Yeah, I didn't figure the great and powerful hunter would be into a book club. Is a book club some form of weapon? Do you strike with the spine? You hear that? That's the sound of Agatha rolling in her grave. Book clubs are simple. You read books and talk about them. Sometimes there's punch. Anyway, I'm headed to the meeting. I doubt it's your thing, but if you're interested, you could tag along. After you. Okay then. I know about as much as you. Blade put this together. He's the person to ask. Blade's giving you the stink eye. Or maybe he doesn't like the punch. Either way, I think he wants to speak with you. Here's how this works. We pick out a book, we read the book, and then next meeting we talk about the book. It's my turn to pick, so give me a minute. I need to narrow it down. What is the best book you have read so far? Uh, none. You have not read any books, but you are starting a book club? Hunter, I've read half the books in the library. I have too many favorites to list. I meant I have no book club favorites yet. You are being evasive, and I do not know why. This is technically our first meeting. Huh. I thought this was a regular thing you did. Yeah, I want it to be. Doesn't matter how sharp your weapons are, if your mind is as dull as a brick. Just give me some space. I need to find the right book if I'm going to. I need to pick the right book, okay? All right. I hope I have time for this. I used to be in one of these with my friend Jess, but it fell apart. What happened? 
I got reassigned, she had a kid, aliens invaded, the usual. Aliens? Yeah, it's been a busy decade. This is the first book club I've been to that didn't devolve into a knockdown, drag out fight. Must have been some book club. A few years back, Bruce and Tony started an Avengers literature circle. First book chosen was Banner's favorite. Tony hated it, said it was the worst poetry he'd ever read, that a mascara blinded lab monkey could have written it better. I still don't know what that means. Turned out, it wasn't Banner's favorite book, it was Hulk's. Oh no. We lost two floors of Avengers Tower before he calmed down. What happened next? Black Widow invoked the, this is why we can't have nice things rule and banned book clubs from meeting at the tower. You have not set anything on fire today, have you? All right, I made my decision. So what is it going to be? The first book we'll read for book club will be The Art of War by Sun Tzu. Ooh, a classic. Yep, that's an old book. Way older than The Hunter. Can you give me a quick summary? It's about war. Come on, Hunter. Cannot wait to check it out. Was that a library pun? I do not know. How would you say it stacks up? Stop. Right now, or so help me, I will ban you from book club. Anyway, our time is tight. I get it. But stop by the library and read the book before the next meeting. But I hope you read the whole thing. This book is one of my favorites. The katana gave that away. <laughs> yeah, I'm always around if you want to chat about it. Ah, uh, I'll save it for the next book club. I could chat about it. Uh, nah, I'm good. What did you think of the meeting? Seems like a great way to get to know each other. What do you think about Blade's choice of book? It got me thinking about a book I can choose. It'll have to be a good one to match Blade's pick. See you later. Next time, then. I admit, I like the low-pressure approach we're taking to book club. These things should be fun and informative. Not the high-stakes powder keg of the Stark and Banner book club regime. I think that went well. Carol seemed to enjoy herself. What do you think? Blade, did you start a book club so Carol would join it? No. Yes. Sort of. We were talking about books, and I may have suggested the two of us read a book and talk about it. Captain America overheard and expressed interest. Carol said I was starting a book club, and he asked if he could join. Then what? What was I supposed to do? Say no to Captain America? Knowledge is the key to a person's heart. You think? It might be the key to Carol's heart. The key to mine is a silver stake, so you got the better end of the deal. Glad you came, Hunter. But don't forget to do the reading. All right, I will. I'm not kidding. Magic, are you all right? No, Hunter, I am not. And neither is Limbo. The dark energy is increasing. This danger you feel, have you given more thought to what could be causing it? Yes, but I do not want to say it out loud. Would it be easier to write it down then? <laughs> I see what you did there, Hunter. But no, writing his name down would feel like I was summoning him. Words have power. I do not want to give him any more than he already has. He? 
If I am right, you will see soon enough. But tonight, that's all I can say. Good morning, Hunter. Got a minute to chat? You wanted to speak, Captain America? Please, call me Steve or Cap. I know I'm a newer kid on the block, but I'm noticing some major divisions within this team. All the interpersonal drama is pulling focus from the real danger, Lilith. I have witnessed the divisions, and I must do a better job of resolving the conflicts at hand. Hardest lessons hit the closest to our hearts. Leading others is never straightforward or easy. It's definitely not all on your shoulders, but I respect you for taking accountability. Don't forget that you're the only one of us who's beaten Lilith and paid the ultimate price for it. You stand out here as a leader. The Midnight Suns, Strange, Carol, Tony, even me. We all look to you for our cues. It's a responsibility, and it's a tough one. I have been a weapon all my life, to be wielded and directed by others. Leadership ability is not my forte. I would appreciate a few pointers. Just the fact that you're willing to learn means you're on the right track. I would benefit from your honest appraisal. Take it step by step and build some bridges between teammates. We're all tired, but some team building might be what we need. Even if it's just blowing off a little steam. Times like this, it's easy to forget we're all on the same side. You've already made the ultimate sacrifice once before. I've been there. I know what it's like to be asked to do it again and again. It doesn't get easier, but you get stronger and better at making the hard calls. I've given you a lot to process, but let's pick up this conversation again soon. Any progress on the journal? If by progress you mean genetic experimentation recipes, demonic incantations, and what Strange here thinks is some sort of, wait for it, Lilith fanfiction Faustus wrote in a 10,000 year old dead language. Ancient Atlantean. Then sure, tons. I actually speak a little Atlantean. T o mile of ep But. I did find this. A hole? We think it's a shipping facility. Or smuggling. Faustus may have been a demented loon, but the man kept some pretty detailed records. Possibly for stealing. From me. Via the hole. Let me guess. That's why I'm here. Well, given the nocturnal and clandestine nature of this operation, as well as your experience in dealing with subterranean affairs? I'll bet. Ever wonder why you people only come to me for the dirty work? Because you are a vampire? You sleep in the actual dirt? Or a coffin? I mean, there's sort of a point buried in there. <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> Let's go. Combing through Faustus's twisted ramblings wasn't the easiest job in the world, but Captain Marvel did manage to find a spot of particular interest to the late Doctor. Judging by the Hydra activity we've picked up in the area, I'd say she's on to something. Carol never fails to impress. Must be a way to smuggle ourselves inside. Let me guess. Stealth not your style? I'm a vampire, remember?
enchanted stealth. You might want to tell that to them. Hydra forces in this area are causing trouble. Let's take them down. It will not take them long. If you're done showing off, why don't we move on Hydra and put an end to their artifact smuggling operation for good? No problem. That's from my secret stash. I am impressed. It sounds to me like they just missed their mom. These fanatics are always the same. Together with me! I'm so proud of you right now! Lucky shot. Pathetic. That's like my tenth concussion. Reinforcements. Good. This hole branches from here across the entire city. What the hell was Faustus doing down here? We have to ask Crossbones. Give the mother my regards in hell. Had your chance to escape. Lilith herself could not best me. What makes you think you will fare any better? Just like old times. My feelings, you know. Go my organs. My time is shine. Good. I could use some more practice. Hydra has always sought power from the occult, but this feels different. One steel artifact. This entire setup feels like a distribution center. But distribution to where? If my mother is involved, nowhere good. Then I'm betting it somehow involves Banner. Come get it. It's weirdos like these that give people like us a bad reputation. That's 
destiny trick. Your time is up. Weak, even for Hydra. The sheer scope of Hydra's operations in this city are staggering, especially considering the number of heroes that take up residence here. The greatest lie the devil ever told was convincing the world to exist. Smell the rainbow! That's one hell of a move. That's the last of them. Well done. think it goes down better not be a fire dragoon layer hydra's been busy whatever the hell they're doing down here it smells wicked Fire Dragoon. Hydra forces in this area are causing trouble. Let's take them down. You're just lucky I'm free. assistance.
no half -way. We need to hang out more, Blade. We're like two peas in a pod. Let's do this! best bet at getting through to the sector and finally taking the fight to Lilith. Smells like fresh meat, surface meat, so much better than sewer meat, sweet, sweet surface meat. Yeah, I'm sure he'll let us through if we just ask nicely. Easier meal than us, monster. Yes, but underneath their crunchy shell, the mess. Mother's blood makes them stronger, but sours the food. Too much gamma for our liking. Well, that put me off my lunch. Step right up. Show off for me, Blade. Don't run from me. to Hydra's reinforcements even down here in the sewers. Deal with them if they are in the way. But Venom is the priority. Yes. Food should not play with other food. Especially when we are hungry. I've got a
that was something. Your face is here. You will suffer for that. Excellent work. Venom's breath was bad. It is. Oh, you know I'm kidding, don't you, Charlie? Yeah. How long was I out? Days. What happened? Before or after you exploded. The collar. Still intact. Though, I'll admit, when Agatha and I first made it for you, we didn't anticipate the need to withstand alien energy. Felt like more than that. As if... Thankfully, the Venom creature didn't seem to like it either. Ran off through that gate of his. Which is why Blade was able to get you home. Next time, I will send that thing straight into the Abyss. Next time, there will be no next time. I know I've been pushing things hard. Pushing you. <laughs> That's what you do. Maybe not on this one. At least until we find a way to counteract the volatile effect of these compounding alien and mystic energies. Which reminds me, Strange and Stark have been chomping at the bit to come see you. Which, of course, I would not allow. Hope you were not too rough on them. Me? Of course not. Though I can't speak for Charlie. Still, wouldn't hurt to show your face around here when you're ready. People are starting to worry. Tell me about it. 